Hey guys, Jordan here, and in this video, I just want to talk about one thing that is probably a topic that I talk about a lot, which is Flambian. So let's get into it. All right, on my channel, I talk about real estate photography. So if that's a topic you're interested in, then make sure to subscribe. Uh, today's video is kind of funny. Um, I made a video about Flambian. Is it a waste of time? Is, is Flambian a waste of time is what I said. And then Mark makes a simple comment. He says, yes, total waste of time. So when you're getting started with real estate photography, I don't recommend Flambian, but there is a time and a place for Flambian, right? I think you can get, I think it's important to understand um, all aspects of real estate photography and the editing process and different methods of shooting. You know, uh, we shoot Flambian, we shoot HDR, um, yes, Flambient typically takes longer to edit than HDR and also to shoot, um, but the, that product is more tailored towards high end where details matter, where the little things matter, right? So there's a lot of times where, you know, maybe a customer orders something for a $100,000 property and it's really nothing special. It's maybe not very good at all. It's not very appealing and shooting flambient might actually make the property look worse than if you just shot HDR. Um, so I think different products are designed for different types of, of, of properties. Now you might be that photographer that wants to shoot flambient 24 seven and that's all good. Um, you know, we just tailor our products to what our customers want and we obviously charge more for flambient because it takes a lot more time. And, uh, but I would disagree with the comment that says total waste of time. I think there's ways to become more efficient about, um, shooting Flambient and Flambient's a method where you can really stretch your thinking and become more proficient on camera settings and stuff. HDR is simple. Flambient is a little more complex, but it gives you the opportunity to learn more about um, what's the possibility? So even if you decide to shoot more HDR than Flambian, I think it's important to kind of know the different methods, know the result and what you can get and figure out if there's there's a place for it in your business or not, depending on who your clientele is and what types of properties you're shooting. So anyways, just a couple of thoughts on Flambian. I'm sure I'm going to make a hundred more videos on Flambian this year, but this is one that I disagree with. Not a total waste of time, but it is definitely, I guess, a waste of time in certain certain aspects uh, on certain properties, that, in my opinion. So anyways, that's it for this video. If you got value, hit the like button or maybe a laugh. I don't know. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.